Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Today we'll show you guys how to remove and replace the low headlight beam on a Mercedes uh, W211 D Class from 2003 all the way until 2000, uh, 2009. That's the one without the xenon headlights, okay? Real headlights. So we'll demonstrate on the right side low beam headlight bulb here. Left side, driver side will be identical but we have a little bit less room to video so we want to show you as good as we can how to do that okay guys so there is enough room to reach it's not a lot to be honest with you so smaller hands will do better i've heard people saying that you have to remove the headlight no you don't because you can't remove it even if you want to because you have to remove the bumper cover so we'll have the light right here to uh, hopefully help you see you guys better. So turn that thing counterclockwise, that's the cap, okay, and pull it out of the way. This is the bulb right there. Okay, we have a good angle now. So you just twist counterclockwise about the quarter revolution, okay, and this is the bulb. Grab the bulb and uh, usually you never want to grab the new bulb with your fingers, you have to use gloves okay and you're going to pull it out okay just be careful that it doesn't break the glass part doesn't break because sometimes they will be they will be really really stuck okay so this is this is the bulb okay guys right here you can see that's where the connector goes so you want to make sure that you pull it right if you touch a new bulb with your fingers the oil from your fingers will make the bulb burn fast because it will get hot. So always wipe it with alcohol if you touch it with your fingers or use, use gloves. When you use gloves, everything is good. Okay, so we are going to install the wire now. Okay, right there. So you need to see how exactly it goes. Okay, and you need to push it in all the way. Okay, it went in. Okay, so now we are going to go there again. Wow, the light is falling off. Okay, let me get in there. Good. And you're going to get it in an angle and turn it clockwise. Okay, and that's the finished position right there. Next, you need to install the cap and get it tight. Okay, so that's the best angle we could get, guys. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and see you guys next time.